welcome to our new video in this video we will be seeing how we can create an editable table by using jquery okay so if you can see the ui we just have a simple table okay let me refresh the page okay so when the page load we don't have anything so we have appended the no record found tr okay let's click on the add new if you can see on add new we are just appending an empty editable row in the table itself let's add the value okay so on click of save this editable grid will be converted to normal td okay let's add second record let's click on save okay let's add one more so that i will show you all the operations okay suppose if i click on cancel this row will be deleted okay let's click on edit you see this is editable create let's change the number click on update you see the updated record here if i click on the delete you see that selected record got deleted these are the all operation which we need when we work with the normal any enterprise application the thing is this is with the jquery but on click of uh, functions you can call your api calls okay so let me show you the code this is the basic code th that is the fixed one t body as empty okay so on load if you can see we have got this basic tr like no record is present so i have created an empty row variable which is having tr td with call space call span 4 and no record available text okay with text center so you see this and i i have on page load i mean that is document dot ready i have selected table then t body append my empty tr variable okay that's why you are seeing this next thing is on click of add new you see on click of add new i'm am, and am, am appending tr with the editable text box to my table okay so you see this is the my function in here I'm just checking like if table data about t body dot children dot length is equal to one, then I'm making it empty. Because in earlier, when we refresh, we have this, we have to get rid of this empty rotate uh, tr, right? So this is the code for that. After that, simple code. Again, I have created another variable, empty new row. It is having tr code with all the text boxes. If you can see td is there text box is there just to mention like for you if you can see i have using i'm using classes td name then for text box also txt name txt city txt because by using this class we are going to pick the value from that td and then put it into the text box okay and buttons also so table body table data dot t body append this my variable okay then i'm emptying this doesn't require this is also not required okay let me show you in the debugger like how things are and click of add new okay so you can see in on click of add new we have got in the I click function since we just only have one tr so i'm just emptying it then i'm adding a i'm appending new tr variable that is having complete tr with the text box so i'm adding values okay so you see on this save function so this is my second function for the button table data dot on dot on is a event which we can use to all the future elements let's say when page load this save and cancel button was not there so if we have to apply event on this kind of buttons means any kind of element which are going to be uh, generated dynamically so you can do like this this is our table selector on then our event name then our class name or id whatever you you can and then function okay so if on, on click of save you see so here what i am to do 
we have to create uh, what you can say complete tr right so for that i'm picking value from the text box you see this dot parent dot parent dot find then text name if i show you this this dot parent gives us this dot parent gives us td again if we take the parent we get the tr okay and from that tr we are finding element by using id class so if you expand this you see a what we have got so same like i am picking all the value all the three values from my text box and creating i am uh, by after we get that value we are just assigning that value to the td you see this dot parent dot td name dot html is equal to name so whatever the name we have got let me explain you see name we have got then this dot parent dot td dot html so we have uh, what we can say appended our text to that particular td so that text box will be gone same thing for all those things okay that's it this is for save on click of edit this is the function table data on click and the button edit on click of edit again the same thing first we have to get the value from now td so you see we have got the value in name now we have to convert this to, you know, we have to append a text box with the this value to that particular td so you see dollar parent parent dot find dot html we have the text box here here you can see value is equal to name okay and remaining is the same thing you see we have got the value same like for all the text box okay that's it on click of update the old function so here you can make your api call this is just a static code so i am i have done like this instead of this you can do the api call okay on click of delete the same code like i'm uh, removing the current tr that's it and again i have the check like if table uh, tr length is zero so i'm appending my original tr that is no record available that's it so with this you can create editable grid and within this function only you just have to make your api call or what you what a, whatever whatever server logic you have written okay thank you